if it isn't our favorite VIP. The point of my inviting you to visit me here at the Lucky 38 before stomping into the tops on your own was to help you prepare tactically. Now, because of your carelessness, Benny has fled the strip, taking with him the platinum chip. His destination is hardly a mystery. It's a near certainty that he's making his way for Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. It's one of just two places on Earth that have the hardware necessary to read the platinum chip. The Lucky 38 is the other, of course. And whose idea was it to offer yourself up as a sacrificial lamb? Really? What did you expect? Are you going to keep giving him opportunities to kill you? It's becoming a hobby of his. His destination... I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum Chip. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the platinum chip and open sesame. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. I expect that if Benny doesn't have the chip, Caesar will make sure you get it. More on that later. Be off.
Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy.
Where to, partner? Casino floor. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Great! I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. I've got your back. Wow. That's crazy. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Okay, no rush, but the sooner the followers can learn about Mr. House's technology, the better. Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Here's what I got. Okay, that's what I do best. 
fine by me.
Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I am ready to process our transaction. See us again soon. Word is, you're getting popular on the Strip. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got razed to the ground.
A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. But I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Oh? What might those be? The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters, medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> No, 
I direct our Eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. Not yet, but our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. But those haven't panned out too well from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. Fortunately, we also have the Helios One facility. One of our external contractors recently got the station up and running. His name was something like Exceptional or Marvelous or... Yes, that was it. Exactly. We I see. Of course you did. To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. And the more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. Oh? What might those be? Yes. Goodbye. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Of course. Anything. Keeley's brilliant, an absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war, the Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. 
They're both death claws in their way. Keeley hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keeley because, well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. The director? He's very well-spoken and knowledgeable. He's not what you'd call warm, unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildern trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside, even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Right. Stay safe. Yes? Something else you needed? From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? All right, I'll take you at your word. Williams didn't say anything at all. You just came to this conclusion on your own. No, you aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. You want certainty? You'll never find it, especially not in the pursuit of science. Take my advice, forget about Williams. She's a talented researcher, but she doesn't understand people, and she can't see the big picture. Now, I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. If you can find Keeley and keep her safe, I'll pay you what I can. I gave my word, and I meant it. Right, good luck.
Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Thank you. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure. Hey.
over. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. The bosses of the Omergas? The Omernas? The ones that run Gamora. Someone killed them. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles, I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Howdy. That sweetie sure is something. Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. <laughs> 